Hello, YouTube. Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show 18 Battle Royale and Diamond Dynasty. Everyone's favorite game. Uh, recently, I did catch a little bit of flack for saying that people didn't agree that fielding was broken in any sense of the word. And maybe I just suck, which is true. I will uh, gladly, uh, I, I, will, I will gladly accept that. Except, uh, no, not really. But anyways, today we are doing just that. Since I am terrible at fielding in this game, I think I need to draft the best fielders and thank the heavens. Vladimir Guerrero in the first round has the highest fielding because instead of 99, we'd end up with Darren Erstad. Uh, uh, what is your fielding? Get the heck out of here. Never mind. Uh, I don't know what I was looking at. I was, must have been looking at speed. Uh, fielding of 36, fielding of 72. Darren Erstad, fielding of 91. I really, really would much rather take the Immortal Vladimir Guerrero, especially since I've yet to get him in a single drop. I don't know. I, I, I've done Vision. He wasn't there. I, I've done Contact, I think. I think I've done Power. I, I don't know what I have to do to, so that Immortal Arm Strength. I will do a highest arm strength draft next, uh, and I'll do it over and over until I get Vlad. But we're going with Darren Erstad with 91 fielding. Feels bad, man. All right, here we go. We're going to continue on. We got fielding of 42, 44, and then the position player's fielding are, is on the other side. That's what threw me off a little bit. 70 fielding from Christian Arroyo uh, is the highest. So he's going to be our pick in this common round. There should be no errors throughout this entire BR draft, um, hopefully, because that's the whole point of this draft. 68 fielding from Chad Pinder. Pinder, Pinder, Pinder. Don't know how to pronounce his name. I apologize. Um, 86 fielding from Jacob deGrom. Was he, a, he must have been a shortstop at some point in his life. 53 from Lee Smith. Uh, fielding a 73 from Mike Piazza. And Finley with 86. Uh, yeah, tie goes to the runner. Uh, I got to choose. Thank God for Steve Finley. Having slightly higher fielding than Jacob. Or having the same fielding as Jacob DeGrom. And I get to choose. Uh, 54 fielding from Garrett Cole. 53 from Carl Edwards. Uh, yeah, pitchers make highlight gem plays every single game you play disagree with me on that one too why don't you 67 from damn daniel i think is the highest so we're gonna go ahead and get a, another good lefty bat in our lineup actually besides not getting a mortal vlad this isn't so far not terrible uh 16 fielding from jaime colin McHugh with 55 chris stewart 70 and colby with 70 um uh, i guess i'll go with colby just because low contact high power low vision we know, we know, we know that's Goat and he's playing up a little bit, so perfect. We got a silver round, we got 42 fielding, 51 fielding, uh, 68 fielding, and 65 fielding. So Wellington Castillo from the Dominican Republic is going to be our catcher. Uh, here we go, Gio Gonzalez with 42, 45, uh, 35, and 62. 62, is that the highest one? 62 fielding was the highest. Rod Carew at first base. Impact veteran Rod Carew. Remember when that card was GOAT in MLB 15? Because you could use contact players. Pepper's Farm remembers. 43 fielding, 83 fielding from Patrick Corbin. Another guy must have been an outfielder at one point in his life. Or just a gold glove caliber first base or a pitcher. Uh, fielding a 67 from Shohei. Even though he is an outfielder still. Uh, and 48. So Patrick Corbin, welcome to the starting rotation as our first pitcher. A silver 42 fielding, 6 fielding from Ubaldo, 35 fielding from Corey, I was about to say Gary, and 24, uh, 42 Brandon Finnegan, we'll have a bronze lefty starting pitcher, so back-to-back -back lefties, not too bad, throw some more starting pitchers in the common round, that'd be great, uh, 44 fielding from Jamie Callahan, Austin with 45, uh, 58 from Eric, and 8, 8. Really really bad dude. You should work on some PFPs. You got to work on it in spring training. Uh, it's really important uh, Make sure you don't commit errors as a pitcher You barely get opportunities. I get it um, 42 wow, these pitchers are really really bad throw one more pitcher at me so we can finish this please All right, here we go 44 fielding 35 5 and 44 so we got two 44s which is Chad cool and Brandon Maurer really don't see you're playing down to a 66 or 69, I guess. I'll take for, for six of memes. We'll take the 69. And now we got nothing but relief pitchers. Adam Wainwright, Wino with 87 fielder, uh, 52, 45, and 34 from uh, Sam, Chris, and Michael. So we're going with Wino in this round. 
Uh, hopefully we get done with our bullpen. And we still have a gold round left. Um, but I doubt it. It's not definitely 42, 64, 43, 50 something. 54. So Tommy Lane, relief pitcher number two. And there is our gold round. Uh, 56 fielding from Nolan Ryan. 16 from David Robertson. Would have liked that knuckle curve. Uh, Tony Watson with 12 fielding. And 36 from Corey Nibble. So we're going to get Nolan Ryan. At least he's got high stamina, high everything. We can hopefully we'll rely on him throughout this entire BR run. Because uh, what is our... Actually, our rotation isn't too bad. You know what? This is the definition of a balanced team, to be honest. It's like not offense, not bullpen, not defense, not... Well, defense should be high. That's the one thing that should be high. Everyone should be defensively sound. 57, 58... Uh, Rob Scahill is going to be our bullpen. Another common round, and we got four more relief pitchers 49, 44, 38, and 28 in descending order. Steve Okert, two more rounds, and we can finally, hopefully, don't throw a silver round. Please just give me two common rounds here. I'll be fine with that. 39, 38, 44, 54. 54, Sam Dyson, who's got a program I need to complete soon. And there we go. We got a bronze round here 54, 16. 46 and 20 yeah 54 was the highest so that is our last bullpen guy we got a silver Ryan right after 91 speed but the fielding's on the other side 63 oh wait 70 fielding byron buxton with 94 fielding uh polanco with 71 and drew stubbs with 77 would have been nice to get that drew stub but byron buxton also playing up today so that's pretty solid uh mario mendoza Fielding of 45 uh, from Travis, Brett with 61, 75 from Mario Mendoza, and Aducci with 55. I knew Mendoza was going to be the pick there. I knew he had decent fielding. Uh, a couple more rounds to go. Fielding of 74, 55, 68, and 72. Uh, so Alex Blandino beats Mark Zagunas, Zhu Wei Lin, and Ty Kelly. We got two rounds left, one being a bronze round. 71 fielding from John Jay, 55 from Solano, 63 uh, from Rosales and 64 from Brock Holt. So we're going to take John Jay. Turn out the John Jay, uh, John Jay College. GG's. All right, last round, 53, 25, 93 from Jose Iglesias. As soon as you see him, that's a defensive player right there. And Jed, um, as Shelfie pronounces it, Gayerko, uh, with 67. We're going to go ahead and pick up Jose Iglesias. Let's see if there's anyone on our bench who can replace a starter. Chad Pinder, you're getting replaced. All right, here we go. We're playing against Puerto Rico, Los Tigres. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Luxy. Shout out to my opponent. Ozzy Albies, Marcelo Zuna, Nolan Arenado, Bryce Harper, Charlie Blackman, Freddy Galvez, Mike Napoli, Gabriel Inoa batting eighth, and Wellington Castillo batting ninth. Uh, GGs and GLs to my opponent. Good luck to you. He's got a triple diamond draft in there. Three solid hitters right dead smack in the middle of that order. Uh, no fireworks today because my team does not look that good compared to his. This doesn't even look fair. Like, what were the diamonds I even was able to look at? All right, so actually today in uh, the Squad 8 group chat, if you haven't followed Squad 8 on the IGs uh, or Twitters, we are doing giveaway. Uh, make sure you follow us. I believe it's at Squad 8. Um, but we were discussing some of the ugliest stadiums in baseball. And I think TD said that he didn't particularly love Dodger Stadium. And I'm going to be honest, Dodger Stadium... What is, oh, that's a base hit. What is trapezoid um, jumbotrons from 1953? Uh, it's time for, it's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. Yankee Stadium did it. Uh, I think Dodger Stadium needs to do it. Uh, I think all stadiums need to do it. But um, I think it was uh, Coogs who said Tropicana is the ugliest stadium in baseball. And everyone seems to give this answer. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it is about Tropicana that absolutely everybody hates Tropicana. I don't think it's the worst stadium. I, I, I really don't think it's the worst. There's definitely worse stadiums than Tropicana. But let me know down below what do you guys think. Do you guys agree? Uh, what is the? What do you think is the worst stadium in all of baseball? Another pickoff. I'm going to get a lot of pickoffs with 99 speed on second base. But I, you know what? I take one step with everyone in second. Sometimes no steps from first. But um, we're putting them in third base. We're looking for a fly ball here. Uh, probably not even ha relatively deep because... That man can fly, but it's not going to matter. Ripped. Uh-oh, look at that animation. You almost let that go by him. First baseman couldn't handle that. Rip. You see, if he drafts Beth Fielder, he probably would have been able to turn a double play out of that. But he didn't. I let that ball get in way too deep. Pause. But that's going to be a weak fly out from Wellington to center. Charlie Blackman's going to make a strong throw to first. And nearly, ladies and gentlemen, nearly threw me out. Steve Finley up. That's why he's here. We have one power bat in case there was someone on. 
Change up just absolutely fell off the table. Or maybe I'm just bad and haven't taken a single pitch. Unless I was stealing. Ground ball to first base. I think that's Napoli. He's going to step on the bag. First inning over, but we got a run courtesy of an infield hit from Byron Buxton. All right, Ozzy Albies. So much high praise for this guy. A phenomenal player, having a phenomenal year. Very young. And uh, getting uh, compliments from some of the top players in the game. For instance, Altuve saying Ozzy Albies is doing more at 21 than Altuve could have done in at what, what, what is he, 20, 28? We're bringing in Nolan Ryan. That is it. Good start from my starter. Uh, got us the one, two pitch, one out. You know, couldn't have asked for much more. Maybe one pitch went out, but I, I, I feel like I feel like I, I feel like I'd be pushing a little bit. You know, asking for a little too much. Well done for my starter. It is now up for Nolan and the umpire to get us through. Uh, that was a very good pitch. Good take from my opponent. Very close. Not where I wanted that curveball, but nonetheless, very tight curveball in a good spot. Let's throw the changeup down and away. But, uh, okay, or inside. I'm literally I'm cross pitching, pitching, so there's no way. That I'm missing on the opposite side of what I'm trying to throw. It's it's physically impossible. Yeah, you know what? That's a good pitch on. Uh, all right, we're in trouble. Nolan Ryan, fastball's got no confidence on it. But we're gonna get Nolan to pop up on one pitch, but it doesn't matter because there is Bryce Harper on on deck. And I'm not taking Nolan Ryan out. You're gonna have to beat me with Bryce Harper batting 667, one RBI and a stolen base. Uh, I'm okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. We're gonna get a pop-up right in front of the stands and there is out number three Got a boy he goes home or we're scoring That's a long throw ladies and gentlemen hit the cutoff always even when playing out of anger hit the cutoff Bro, I should just drag one on him. I should be that guy he really wants to throw the sinker up. All right, new pitcher in. He's left-handed. He does not have a sinker. But he's still throwing up. Oh, wow. That, I don't know what I just did there. Wow. Byron Buxton? No doubt, crew! What?! That ball was tagged. Byron Buxton? Don't throw fastballs up, ladies and gentlemen. There's no point. All right, so we just need three outs. Let's see how quickly we can get threes, three outs. Ground ball from Wellington Casillo right back up the middle, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first run, but he still needs a couple of runs. I believe the tying run is in the hole. I got confidence in Craig to get us three outs with this four-run lead. Not a safe situation. Nonetheless, save situation uh, intensity. Come in, get your three outs. It's still a relatively close game. One swing could actually tie this game. But the knuckle curve down, I just don't think you're going to hit this pitch. That's just... Okay. Um. All right. Really wish Nolan Ryan were still here. It's okay. We're going to fight out of this. We're going to battle. Two runs. No big deal. Just need to trade uh, runs for outs right now. Marcelo Zuna, our first task. Good knuckle curve. Fly ball to center field. 18 speed. Hit our cutoff, but there is the first run, so it's now four to one. We got it out there though, so we're fine. Uh, just Nolan Arenado to deal with. No big deal, no pressure. I got no meter, even though I just recorded an out. And on one pitch, we are gonna get a pop up to Iglesias, just in case. We're gonna bring that ball in. Two of these, two of these. Not even one swing could tie this game up, but ladies and gentlemen, a lefty up, um, Tommy Lane. Back-to-back -back lefties and a switch hitter. Tommy Lane coming in. I do believe this is a save situation. And with two outs, we get Bryce Harper to pop up right up the chute. 
And that's a GG in the chat. All right, so we caught our dub in the first game with the uh, best fielding uh, draft. So lesson learned, draft fielders. Because even when you do, you get guys like Byron Buxton and he hits bombs. He went two for two. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. As always, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for drafts or forfeits. I still don't have a forfeit. I'm going to go to trivia tonight and see if any of my friends got anything for me. Um, but uh, other than that, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? It's yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this?